Well, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome back again in my class with me, Miss Yaya. Okay, inna alhamdulillah, nahmadu wa nasta'inu wa nasta'firu wa na'udhu billahi min syuruh yang kusina wa min sayyat yang marina. Mayadihillahu falamudillalah wa mayadihillahu falamudillalah. Alhamdulillahi Rabbi Alamin, segala puji hanya milik Allah, kita memujinya, memohon petunjuk kepadanya, memohon pertolongan darinya, supaya kita tetap dimudahkan, berada di atas jalan yang lurus, jalan yang dituntun oleh Allah. Dan tidak lupa pula kita kirimkan salawat perakaikan salam kepada Rasulullah SAW, yang dan mudah-mudahan salawat yang kita sampaikan ini dengan ucapan Allah Masyarakat Muhammad Alaihi Muhammad, Sampai kepada beliau, kepada para sahabat, kepada keluarganya, dan kepada diri kita sendiri. Semudah-mudahan selawat ini menjadi syafaat bagi kita di yaumil akhir kelak. Anak-anakku yang berbahagia, yang sekarang berada di rumah, just stay at home, jangan kemana makan karena kita mengkhawatirkan keadaan saat ini, kita berada di fase mungkin gelombang kedua dari corona. Dan mudah-mudahan semua outbreak ini segera berlalu dan berakhir, dan kita bisa masuk ke era uh, seperti dulu bisa bertemu lagi bisa ke sekolah bertemu teman-teman bertemu guru-guru dan bisa dan I'm myself can teach in front of the class like before tapi untuk saat ini kita selalu bersyukur kepada Allah apapun yang terjadi kita harus selalu bersyukur kepada Allah mungkin ini bentuk ujian dan cobaan kepada kita untuk kita lebih mengintegrasi diri kita well my students today in my class Uh, for the second meeting, we still talk about introducing yourself, but in different uh, level. Last week, we have talked about introducing yourself. You, we talk about introducing yourself for formal uh, dialogue, but it is only a short dialogue and only for one direction. You introduce yourself to me or to your friends uh, only for one direction. There is no conversation in air. Um, it means like you talk about yourself, hello, my name is uh, Andy, for example, like that. I was born in Padang, my junior high school before was blah, blah, blah. So for today, I will, we will talk about introducing yourself, but, okay, for formal and informal. Okay. Uh, for these steps, I have uh, separate Uh, with five part the first one is formal situ uh, formal uh, introduction the second one informal and then uh, we will discuss a little bit about grammatical we call it pronoun and also we talk about simple present tense and the last step is letter of introduction <clears throat> but today uh, we are uh, focused on formal okay I want you to imagine, I want you to think, when will we use greeting, formal greetings? When, um, in, when we are in this situation, for example, like when you are working someday, or maybe when you are with someone in the restaurant, in hotel, or maybe in travel agent, or maybe you booking a restaurant. Or maybe you book a hotel. Or maybe you want to go somewhere and you go to travel agents. In this situation, we use formal greetings. And when, yes, okay, kapan lagi kira-kira kita menggunakan formal greetings ini? Selain tadi ketika kita mau booking restoran, kemudian kita mau ke hotel, booking hotel, atau kita kamu mau jalan-jalan, kemudian kamu uh, menyewa sebuah travel agents, Nah, ketika kita bercakap-cakap, itu kita menggunakan formal greetings. Nah, apa itu formal greeting? Formal greeting is something like you meet someone uh, in formal situation. And you say, uh, good morning, ma'am. Good morning, sir. That is a formal greeting. Yeah? Dan uh, kapan lagi kira-kira kita menggunakan formal greeting ini? Uh, for someone older than us. Untuk seseorang yang lebih tua. For example, like when you meet with me, we can use a formal greetings. At work, when speaking to your superiors. So, for example, like I meet, meet with the headmaster or principals, I will use a formal, formal greetings. 
and meeting a VIP uh, example politicians so when we meet politician mungkin DPR yes the president atau mungkin governor in our province we use informal greeting is impossible we use informal greeting by saying hi Pak Gubernur is impossible so we can use Selamat pagi Bapak Gubernur, for example like that. Selamat pagi Bapak Presiden, for example like that. So, uh, in formal greetings, we need to be in polite to someone uh, we don't know very well. We need to be in polite to someone that older than us. So, uh, what is the formal greeting here? The first one we use, uh, good morning. Good morning, Fatih. And then we use good afternoon and good evening. For example, like good morning, sir. Good afternoon, madam. Good evening, Mr. Johns. Or good evening, Mrs. Smith. Okay. Okay. After greetings, we come to introducing yourself in formal situations. Here I have uh, six kind of introducing yourself in formal situations. But the first one, we said greeting first. And the second, we introduce ourselves. For example, like, good morning, Mr. Johns. I just want to introduce myself to you. Or good morning, Mr. Johns. I don't believe we've met you before. Or good morning, Mr. John. I don't think we've actually met. And after you say this and you say your name, Good morning, Mr. Jones. I just wanted to introduce myself. My name is blah, blah, blah. And I am blah, blah, blah. Okay. Now, for introducing someone else in informal situations, maybe you bring your friends, you go with your friends, and then you want to introduce your friends to someone else. So you say, uh, Mr. Jones, I like to introduce to you my friends uh, or there is someone I like to meet there is someone I like you to meet this is a uh, wahyu person this is honey for example have you met with her before okay so the first one is greeting the second one introducing yourself in formal situations and the spec and the third one introducing someone else informal situation. Jadi untuk introducing someone else, it means that kamu memperkenalkan seseorang yang lain kepada seseorang yang baru. Misalnya kamu mau menginterview untuk sebuah uh, koran sekolah dan kamu bertemu dengan politisi dan kamu uh, dengan teman kamu dan kamu bilang selamat siang Pak. Perkenalkan nama saya Bambang, for example like that. And then Pak, saya di sini ada teman saya di sini namanya Hani. Uh, dia teman satu kelas saya. Hani, silahkan ini Bapak Bambang, for example like that. Jadi di situ ada kamu perkenalkan diri, kamu kemudian memperkenalkan orang lain. Okay. And express, expressing pleasure to have met someone. Jadi expressing pleasure ini berarti bahwa kamu mengekspresikan kebahagiaan atau kamu uh, senang untuk berkenalan dengan seseorang. Here in English kita bilang kita menyebutnya dengan please to meet you. Senang sekali berkenalan dengan anda, senang sekali bertemu dengan anda. Nice to meet you, very nice to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you. For example, like please to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you, madam. Very nice to meet you, sir. It's a pleasure to meet you. And what is the response when someone pleased to meet you? Uh, when someone pleased to meet uh, us, for example, uh, when someone say, nice to meet you, Miss Yayat, and I will say, I'm happy to meet you too, or nice to meet you too. Well, students, Ananda semua, now we come to example of short dialogue in formal situations. Like, take a look. Good morning, Professor. How are you doing? Good morning, Peter. I'm doing well. And you? I'm great. Thank you. Professor, this is my friend, Andy. She is thinking about applying to this college. She has a few questions. Would you mind telling us about the process, please? Hello, Andy. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm more than happy to speak with you. Please stop by my office 
next week. It's a pleasure to meet you too, Professor. Thank you so much for helping us. Don't mention it. Hopefully, I will be able to answer your question. Okay. Uh, now I know there are some mispronunciations because you know that I only have my son and my husband, my dual at home. So I asked, I need a help of my sons and he helped me to become a teacher and my husband helped me to become a professor. But I'm, I'm really sure that you can practice the dialogue with the great pronunciations. Well, um, here Peter said, good morning, professor. The good morning is a greetings for formal uh, situations. So Peter said, good morning, professor. How are you doing? Okay, and Professor said, good morning, Peter. I'm doing well, and you? I'm great, thank you. Professor, this is my friend, Andy. She is thinking about applying to, the, to this college. She has a few questions. Would you mind telling us about the process, please? Hello, Andy. It is a pleasure to meet you. I'm more than happy to speak with you. Please stop by my office next week. It's a pleasure to meet you too, Professor. Thank you so much for having us. Don't mention it. Hopefully, I will be able to answer your question. Here in this dialogue, we can find greetings, uh, introducing yourself in formal situation, introducing someone else in formal situation. Jadi ketiganya masuk di sini. Ada good morning sebagai greeting, ada memperkenalkan diri, saya Peter, gitu ya. Good morning, Professor. Apa kabar? Kemudian uh, si Peter memperkenalkan temannya, Andy. Kemudian Andy memperkenalkan dirinya. Nah, ini komplit di dalamnya. Informal situation. That we talk. Ini yang kita sebut sebelumnya bahwa ini adalah formal situation. Karena Profesor adalah guru mereka. Ya. Oke. Okay. Next. Uh, there is uh, some kind of um, exercise that I want you to finish and you make it in your task and you give to the Google Classroom like before. Please mention five parts of formal greetings below based on the dialogue. Jadi kamu jawab lima buah pertanyaan ini, isi titik-titiknya ya. Kemudian kamu kirimkan di Google, di Google Classroom kita. Next, kita punya, oke okay, this one. Fill in the blank with the right answer. Di sini, ada percakapan juga dan Miss mau kalian untuk menjawab titik-titik yang ada di sini dengan kalimat yang tepat. Jadi ada satu, dua, kemudian tiga, empat, dan lima. Ada lima buah titik-titik yang harus kalian isi. Good morning, uh, Mrs. Brian. Kemudian apa jawaban Mrs. Brian? Di situ ada titik-titik. I'm fine, thanks, and you. Dan untuk ini, kalian juga tulis di uh, uh, Microsoft Word-nya, di Google Classroom-nya. Dan dialognya lengkap seperti ini kalian tulis, kemudian persis seperti ini, titik-titiknya kalian isi, dan nomor satu dan duanya tetap ada di situ, tapi titik-titiknya diisi gitu ya. Jadi persis seperti ini, bukan jawabannya saja. Oke okay, guys, um, I think this all for today, because we only have a short time in a meeting. Jadi uh, pertemuan kita satu hari itu hanya 30 Uh, 30 menit untuk satu mata pelajaran so I don't want to give a lot of tasks ya, kami tidak mau memberikan materi yang panjang, kemudian tugas yang banyak karena kita butuh untuk meningkatkan imun begitu ya, so I think that's all for today, thank you for your attention and don't forget to make your assignments, give it in the give it on time jangan lewat dari waktu yang telah ditentukan, terima kasih sekali lagi Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.